Hey everybody, it is Ron and Debbie and we are back for another edition of Ask Ron. I'm Ron, that's Debbie. <laughs> okay, Ron, our first question is from Sagira Muhammad from Las Vegas. Hey Matt. I'm having a time trying to get an attorney. I keep getting declined representation. I'm basically saying that I have generic documents that I would like to review to make sure the documents comply with the state. Uh-huh. Most of the time I get they want to create the documents when I advise that these are ones I wish to use. I just want these docs modified to comply with the state if need be. I also ask them about processing closings. I usually get pauses and then they go on as if I'm crazy and never heard of or have done this before. Well, it's likely you're not dealing with real estate attorneys. That's the first thing you want to do. Find out from other agents, from other investors, and from mortgage brokers and lenders who they like that deals with real estate investors, and that's the key. There's real estate attorneys and then there's real estate in attorneys that are investor friendly. You just gotta ask around. If you get the right one, it'll be the difference between night and day. If you get the wrong one, they'll do everything they can to talk you out of doing something that they don't normally do. So I, I will tell you that getting that right closing attorney is worth its weight in gold to you because they'll make or break your deals, no questions about it. So your answer is keep asking and keep looking. There is no other way. And do not try to convince an attorney that's negative to work with you. It'll do you more harm than good. Whack them. Get them out of your life and keep looking until you find the right one. Okay. All right. Next question is a VA question. And this is from Joshua Wilson from Los Angeles. Okay. How are you, Josh? Josh says, Hi, Ron. I'm on my third VA, and I am noticing that they are having a problem with, one, getting the seller on the phone, two, Mm -hmm. capturing the info from the Uh, seller, and three, getting yeses. Could you explain how Scott's VA is able to get so many leads Here's a simple answer for you. Get a hold of Global Publishing and let us appoint a VA for you. We are now in the virtual assistant business, and our VAs have no problem getting people on the telephone, nor do they have any problem getting your property information sheet filled out completely. Uh, just get a hold of our office. Call 904-262-0491 and tell them you want to talk to somebody about VA service and they'll switch you over to the right person. We have VAs that call FISBOs and, we have, and they're in-house. We Literally, we work with them every single day and train them. Now, we just started this service, so you probably haven't heard about it. Uh, it's about a month old now, but they're doing an incredible job. You can either pay by the lead or you can pay the, the VAs on our uh, monthly membership, which includes your Gold Club membership. Just call in and ask about it, and we'll be publishing that information pretty soon. And we're doing that because of questions like this. If you're in trouble finding VAs, get the job done. Exactly. Okay, great. All right, next is from Jason McCormick from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, Jason. I'm looking at a house that has an arm. It is either a subject to or ax deal as the amount owed is close to value. Okay. With either exit strategy, I foresee a long-term tenant buyer and potential for PITI uh-huh. to increase. Any uh-huh. suggestions? Yeah, it's very simple. Anytime you put a tenant by, well, suppose you take it over subject to, it's a moot point anyway. Payment goes up, your payment's going to go up. Suppose you uh, lease option it from the seller. You should put a provision in there that if their payment goes up, your rent goes up, and you pass that along to your buyer. When you put a lease option tenant buyer in there, you just put a note in there that if the underlying payment goes up, their rent goes up. Same thing. That way it's covered all the way through, and then it won't affect you at all. Well, the interest rates the way they are right now, it's unlikely that the arm is going to adjust upward. But, uh, well, sooner or later it would, I guess, but uh, I don't see any evidence that that's going to happen in the near future. But with that one little line in there, uh, the rent will be increased in an equal amount to an increase in the underlying payment. Okay. All right, Ron. Our last question is from Dwight Glasgow, and Dwight is from Georgia. Hi, Dwight. I purchased a home subject to and a trust, but now the seller is moving the trust from the homeowner's insurance. I called my insurance agent and he advised that he cannot insure it because their underwriters prohibit insuring property owned in a trust. Okay, well that's easy. You can contact our insurance guy if I only knew who he was right now. <laughs> uh, Mike should have read these questions before we did this, Debbie. But, uh, i tell you what, Debbie will take sending. it upon herself mm-hmm. to get you the name of our insurance guy who's from Raleigh, who's insuring our properties here in Florida right now and he's giving us some really cheap rates. And this trust thing is not an issue for him. But in the future, for all of you listening, if you uh, instead of talking about the trust, just tell your insurance guy to insure it in your name. That's the easiest way to do it. And um, that, that's the way we do it. That's the way I used to do it. Uh, now I insure it in whatever name the entity's in because I found an insurance company that don't mind doing that. Uh, you're going to like working with this guy. You're going to like his rates, too. He almost cut our insurance premiums here in half in Florida. 
good guy to work with. Yeah, I did actually run that a few weeks ago in the did weekly, you? Ron. Okay. So I will pull that and I'll um, get right, that posted. Debbie for just said that she's going to post that in the very <laughs> next weekly. So look out for it. That's okay. what I heard Debbie say. Yes, I did. And okay. I, I did post it a few weeks ago. So we'll re Do it again. rerun that. Sure. Okay. okay, Ron, that's all we have. All right, guys. See you next week. Don't forget to get registered for the convention. July 4th, we're right around the corner. Better get in there. We've got a lot of cool stuff planned. And some cool stuff I haven't even told you about yet. So get registered right now. Don't miss this. This is going to be a really neat event. And I'll see you next week. And I hope to see you guys pretty soon in our Quick Turn School. I'm coming up, doing one here pretty soon uh, in Baltimore in June. And we've got them scheduled for the rest of the year. So uh, make a point to get there if you really want to get your business started and, and uh, launched and escalated quickly. So see you soon.